everyone, this is Monica Dennington with your Monday Morning Heart Check. And this morning we're going to be asking ourselves the question, what are my idle words saying about me? Now we know that Jesus told us that on Judgment Day we are going to be judged by the words that we speak in private, by every idle word. And when we begin to talk about judgment, that's where the fear of the Lord really comes in because we're going to make a choice in our lives, whether we're going to live playing to an audience of human beings and trying to impress them, or whether we're going to play to an audience of one, understanding that no matter what that sea of people thinks of us, that on Judgment Day, there's only going to be one opinion that matters, and that is the opinion of God. So wherever the Bible tells us about how God is going to judge us, this is where wisdom is going to come in and teach us that that's what we need to fear, that's what we need to pay attention to, and that's where uh, we need to put our focus. If we allow God's Word to correct us and to judge us before Judgment Day, that's called repentance. We're showing that we have a good conscience towards God and that we want to leave behind our sinful ways and go in God's direction. As it says in 1 Corinthians 11 31, but if we judged ourselves, we would not come under judgment. And then again, it tells us that we should not think too highly of ourselves, but instead we should use sober judgment when assessing where we are in our relationship with God, that it's not wise for us to compare ourselves to other people, nor is it wise for us to look inside of ourselves to decide where we are, but instead we need to look into the mirror of God's word and say, okay, how is God gonna judge me? Or what criteria is he going to be using uh, when he determines where my heart really is on judgment day? And Jesus Jesus told us that one of those criteria is that God is going to be judging you not by the words that you put forward for everyone to see, the image that you want to project, but instead by the idle words that you speak. The scriptures tell us that people bring forth from their mouth whatever is stored up in their heart. And although we do have the ability to lie and play the hypocrite and pretend to put forth those words that are not really a reflection of what's inside of us, eventually what's inside of us is going to flow out of our mouths. And that usually happens when we think that nobody he's watching or listening uh, when we have our guard down. And it is these words uh, that God will be playing back to you on Judgment Day to say, this is how I'm making a determination as to whether or not you're really loyal to my kingdom and whether or not you're really loyal to the commands of Jesus. So here's the heart check. Forget all the words that you put out on your website, the Christianese that you may speak on your Facebook, all the dogma that your church or denomination may put forth that you trumpet, and the Christian arguments that you may use when you're talking to people about your faith and begin to listen to the things that you say, how you speak when you think that nobody that matters is listening. How do you talk at the dinner table? And what God is going to be looking at is not whether or not you've got all your doctrines right, because the Bible says none of us do. It says right now we're looking through a dim mirror and until we see Jesus, we won't understand everything completely. But what he's going to be looking at is your character and how you treat other people. So you can say, yes, I'm a humble person, but how do you talk about other people? Do you speak of them as a scriptures say as if they were, are more important than you are? Or do you show by your words that you deride other people and that you really think that you're more righteous or that you're more important? At the end of the day, Jesus is going to be looking at whether or not you are obeying the royal law, which is to treat others in the same way that you want to be treated. Because as it says in James chapter 3, with the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and curse things. My brothers, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. If in your idle talk you have hatred, if you have bigotry, if you have selfishness and greed, if you are speaking these things in private, then it doesn't matter how much Christian talk you put out there into the world because the Bible says that it's fake, it's not real, it's not real fruit, and it's not going to produce anything um, that is lasting or good because you can't get fresh water from a salt spring. You can't get olives from a fig tree. You can't get something good um, from a source that is at its root, at its core, ungodly. So listen to the spirit of wisdom and judge the things that you're saying in private. Begin to listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. And if you find that they don't measure up to the royal law, that they don't measure up to who God wants you to be in the way that you treat your neighbors, then it is time simply to judge that as being a bad thing and repent and ask God to help you to fix that thing at the root instead of just on the surface to go in and take that root of unforgiveness, selfishness, pride, or bitterness and uproot it. And Jesus promised 
promise that if you have faith, even the size of a mustard seed, then he is going to uproot that sin for you. As it goes on to say in James chapter three, the wisdom that comes from above is first of all pure, then peace loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial, and sincere. If you want to know if your idle words are measuring up to the standard that God is going to be judging them by, then go to this scripture and ask yourself, in my words, am I using the wisdom that comes from above? Are my words pure or are they double-minded? Are they peace-loving? Are they considerate? Look at all these things in this list in James chapter 3. Measure the idle words that are coming out of your mouth. Allow the Lord to judge the sin that's in your heart and He will justify you on Judgment Day. Brothers and sisters, read your Bible and do what it says.